After counter calculator download enable the macro to continue to the counter calculator interface. Then enter the patient first and last name. Now you can see four columns and five rows. The columns headings from left to right are sphere, cylinder power, cylinder axis, and spherical equivalent. The rows headings from up down are clinical refraction, measured cylinder power and axis, modified refraction, contour refraction, and finally high order aberrations. In the first row enter the clinical refraction of the patient, for example, minus 3.0, minus 1.0, axis 175. In the second row enter the measured cylinder power and axis. Now look at the third row you will see the calculator software calculated the modified refraction according to the Alcon protocol. At the time you will see at the fourth column the spherical equivalent of the clinical refraction is the same as the one for the modified refraction. Finally look at the fifth row. If the patient has high order aberration of 0.21 micron, the contour calculator is going to convert it to diopter. Then the calculator will add this value to the modified sphere in the fourth row to be treated at the same time with modified refraction of that patient. Let us violate the Alcon pre-calculation consideration to see what is going to happen. We enter in the clinical refraction cylinder power minus 0.5 diopter. The warning sign now highlights in red color and it says consider optimize ablation. Finally, let us explain the function of the icons at the footer of the contour calculator interface. From left to right we can find the shutdown icon. If we want to close the calculator just click it. Then comes the rest icon. When clicked all the data in the calculator will be rest, then comes print icon. When clicked we can print out the results of the contour calculator to be kept in the patient file, then comes the Alcon icon. When clicked it shows the Alcon protocol and the pre-calculation considerations. Lastly comes the query icon to help us know what the other icons mean.